our next topic is the uh, server mapping. So uh, in server mapping, let's talk about the uh, net server, whereby uh, it's actually a kind of feature that allow the uh, public address to uh, access to the internal private address of a particular server. So in this uh, net server, basically net will actually uh, hide the uh, topology of an intranet internal network. Then the um, on the firewall, we basically need to open up the port. Okay, so in this case, we actually also call it as the port forwarding. As what you can see over here is that the external user is actually uh, using his own uh, source address, okay, with uh, to access to the destination address of 202.202.1.1. And this particular 202.202.1.1 is actually a public address that is already dedicated for the www server that is on the uh, uh, internal networks under 192.168.1.1, which means that uh, in our firewall, we have to pre-configure that the mapping between 192.168.1.1 of our web server to this 202.202.1.1. So in this case, if anyone from the external party, when they access to this 202.202.1.1 uh, .202 public address, it means that we actually heading to the uh, web server of 192.168.1.1. So uh, in other words, the 202.202.1.1 is also representing our internal uh, web server. Okay, now um, what you can see over here is actually how the net server commands as well as the server map table looks like. So after we configure the net server, basically uh, the net server map table will be generated automatically. Firstly, let's see the command. So this is how the command looks like. Net server followed by the name, then uh, protocol, then whichever protocol that we have, TCP, UDP, or any sort of protocol numbers. Then followed by global, which referring to the uh, public addresses, followed by the address of our public, and inside, followed by our internal private address. So in other words, the 202.202.1.1 is representing 192.168.1.1, and it is the identity of the our private address on the public network. So once the uh, server met, uh, once the net server has been created, our net server entry will be generated. So this is what you can see. Okay. Then apart from that, on the same command just now, we also can add on no reverse command. Now what is the function of this particular no reverse command? Now, net server actually will generate a server map entry for both directions, for the uh, forwarding inbound as well as the outbound returning traffic. So no reverse means that we do not actually want the returning traffic to be part of our server map entry. So this will actually uh, minimize the size of our server map entry.